Hey guys, how's it going? Craig Frost here for another Juicy Tuts tutorial. This one's going to be exciting. Yeah. So, we're in Premiere and we're going to look at how to export a sequence today. It's a pretty simple process. So, we're in here and we've I've got some clips up on this sequence here. This is a little promo video that I made for a um, local band. And I've just cut a few clips here together and let's say this edit is done, what do I do with it next? We need to export it, right? So, what you do is you make sure your sequence is either selected in your project window or on the timeline. Then you come up to File and Export and then Media. Okay, now Media normally it will load with Source selected first and here you can scrub through your timeline, check you've got the right one selected and you can look at it at any point in time. Anyway, so uh, I like to have the output one selected just so I can check that it's formatting it right. As you can see with the settings we've got at the moment, it's exporting it not quite how we want. But just for a general export, you've got all different kinds of formats down here. You can even just have audio only with waveform audio or AAC audio or there's an MP3, etc. And you have all these other video formats as well. Uh, QuickTime seems a good one to have if you're just exporting it to be shown on your computer, for example. Or H.264 and all that good stuff. And you can come in, you can choose some presets for whatever you're doing, and it will um, change your settings there. And you can see that this one's set up correctly to show the video how we want it. You can also click Match Sequence Settings if you want the export to match the same format that you imported the video in. So if you had some footage from a DSLR, it will export it in the same format that that footage came in, in which won't be very compressed. Um, if that's what you need, that's probably not what you'd go for. You'd normally choose another format. So once you've selected what format you want it to be in, you then come to Output Name and you choose where to put it on your desktop, so we'll call this Promo Vid 1 and click Save. And then you've got these two checkboxes. Make sure these two are checked. Export Audio and Export Video. If one of those aren't checked and you go through hours of rendering to find out that there's no audio on your clip, you're going to be pretty pissed off. Uh, then you have these other tabs down the bottom here which are a bit more advanced if you want to fine tune like if you don't want to f export full HD you can change that there and everything but for general general export that's all ready to go and you can just click export down at the bottom there and it will send the bar across and your video will render out to your location so that's it that's basically how you export inside Premiere Pro uh, I was using CS6 here but it's exactly the same for previous versions of Premiere I uh, hope you like this video I hope some of you found it useful Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps us out. You can follow on twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts. And have a good day. Have a good day. Or if you're at night time, have a good sleep. If you're watching this at night time, actually, why are you up? Why? Just go to sleep. You don't need to be watching Premiere tutorials unless you're one of them students that leaves it to the last minute to export your film for film school and you didn't know how to export and you've got this edit ready and you, you're hoping it'll render out in time for deadline but it won't you know it won't anyway thanks for watching see ya